is no joke Howard really dead? Like, honestly, I've been wanting to make a video on this. I heard about it about a week ago. Now, if you don't know who No Joke Howard is, which I know there's going to be a lot of people that don't, but he's basically a YouTube channel. Well, his name is Brayton Howard, and he has a YouTube channel that he ba he talks about. He, like, he's talked about so many things. He's traveled to many different places. Like, he lived in Cambodia for two years and made all kinds of entertaining like he is an entertaining guy like honestly his videos are great they're funny when they need to be funny they're serious when they need to be serious and i heard that he had a heart attack and he's only 30 years old mind you and this is just like what the fuck i just i really hope that it's not true like he hasn't uploaded in a while and to hear that it's just, what the hell, man? I mean, <clears throat> um, he moved back to America for a while and traveled through places in America. And then he, uh, he went to Mexico. So, I mean, if he did die, at least he died being a real motherfucker. Like, really. He always kept it real. At least if he is dead, that he died hopefully doing what he wanted. I mean, hopefully he didn't get back into drugs. I really hope that's not the case. But, I mean, after years of that, yeah, that could definitely build up and affect you. But, I mean, it seemed like his life was going in the direction that he wanted it to go in. Like, he was um, training people at a gym. And uh, he had got his hand fixed because his hand was broken from uh, a mixed martial arts fight. Because he also did that in uh, Cambodia. And he got that fixed in Mexico. And <clears throat> I don't know. I remember he was making these videos about, um, cra uh, what do you call that? It's something that people have, like Kratom. Kratom and like some other stuff. And I've heard that that's not good for your heart. So I think maybe that played a part in this if it really did happen. Which like I'm saying, like I've tried to, uh, I've messaged some of the members of his family, um, his mother and his brother. Uh, his brother used to have a YouTube channel for a short amount of time as well. But uh, I tried to find that to go like leave a comment like, hey, is this real? But I could not find it. And I was subscribed to his brother's channel as well. So that disappeared. And no joke, Howard, like I said, he kept it real. Like a dying breed on YouTube is people that keep it real. Okay? People that really say what they mean and get their point across in an entertaining way, not just a monotone. Uh, uh. <clears throat> I mean, really and truly like for years, this guy, since 2015, this guy really entertained me and really brought some things to light. And I really related to some of the stuff, not with the drug abuse uh, and some of the other things like that. I didn't relate to that. But just certain things I did, and I was just like, wow, somebody else out there is thinking some of the same things that I think about the American dream and about, like, all that just kind of being bullshit and the materialism and just all that. It's just, like, I, I, can't, I can't believe, like, really, if he's dead. Like, that would just be horrible. That would really fucking suck because I was looking forward to seeing more of his videos in Mexico and just walking around talking shit. I mean, really and truly, he's one of the top three YouTube channels that I watched. And one of the other ones has been deleted. That's Chicago's very own James J. Hustle Hawthorne. He kept it fucking real, too. He got deleted because YouTube wants to censor people and delete people all the time. And then apparently No Joke Howard's dead. And then the other channel, Smokey Dog, I mean, he doesn't really keep it as real as he used to. Just because, like, YouTube... I mean, he hasn't censored himself or anything, but it's just like... He doesn't make the same videos because the videos don't make money. So that is what it is. Maybe that can make a return. Hopefully he doesn't get deleted because that's a possibility as well. But that being deleted is fucking not as bad as being dead. Because even if your channel gets deleted, like it's more than just, oh, this person entertained me. It's like, oh, I related to this person and like kind of cared about them as a person. Like I know that's kind of weird, but. Not like, oh, man, I love them. Oh, my God. No, just like fucking, 
what, great videos and, you know, learning from other people's mistakes, you know, that's another reason why I made videos. And like for a while there on my other channel, he, the way he did his videos, like inspired me, like walking around outside, just talking. It's like, I did that for a while. <laughs> And I was just like, I wasn't trying to like copy him or anything. I was just like, well, that's a, that's a good floor man. And just like the way that he did it. And you know, I was just, I really hope this is just some like bullshit and it's not true. But I mean, I kind of think that it is true just because, you know, he hasn't uploaded in a while. I checked some of his social media and he hasn't been active on there and there was one video that I said that it's been confirmed by a family member, but you know, it's all just word of mouth at this point. Like it's all just word of mouth at this point. I'll switch up the, the background a little bit. I'm just playing some of his uh, videos right now. And he also did paintings and just like he did so much. Like he did so much in his uh, 30 years if he's dead. Like I said, I do not want that to be the case, but... I mean, the art, he used to be in a band, a few different bands, but he was a drummer. That's one of, like, the only things that if he did die, he didn't get to do again was have a drum set that I know of. I mean, there's probably other things, but that's just what's been made clear in some of his videos and live streams, and it just sucks. Because he also, his channel was never monetized. That's another thing. Like, he, he wanted... There's been points where he's wanted money on his channel and he set up like Patreon and stuff. But like YouTube, like when he lived in Phnom Penh, he wasn't able to get ads on his videos there. And then when he moved to America, it was uh, when he moved back to America for that while was when the ad apocalypse was hitting and all of like he monetized his channel. But then all the videos were demonetized. <laughs> and what the hell, man? That's just fucked up honestly do this for like since 2016 to 2019 and not have made like money from your videos and that's just that's insane that tells me that he really did it for like there's nothing wrong with making money like if he was able to monetize his channel the whole time that would have been great <laughs> oh he was making fun of something right here <laughs> oh my god i might have to make some like montage videos in the, in the future <laughs> about just the funniest moments from his videos but man I think I'll link I'll link his channel in the description you can go check out some of his videos and hope that he's uh, not dead I mean I have seen a lot of comments on uh, some of his recent videos like rest in peace because you know his fans have been thinking because it's like I heard about this and it's like I've talked to him before and stuff like, I know it was only through messages, but I've talked to him before. And, I mean, just what the fuck. It, it, it just sucks. It really does suck if he is dead. But that just proves to you that another day is never promised. And that you need to live your life. No fucks given. Okay? No joke. <laughs> Alright? So, have a great day, everybody. Um... I really hope that he's not dead. And if he is dead, uh, may his family members uh, not. I don't even know. I don't know what it's like to have to bury your son. I don't know what it's like to have a brother die. Like, I've had people die in my life um, and such. But that just, what the fuck. So, have a great day. Peace, everybody.